Hello, uh, this is the third video of this uh, SE Bikes commuter bike to fixie conversion. Um, I've decided to change the crank set over and I've actually got to change the bottom bracket as well and this is all about having a crank set with a slightly shorter crank arm, um, probably a bit tighter, more compact as well and also we've still got to maintain the chain line while we're doing it. Um, first thing is uh, getting the crank set off this is uh, it's, it's got a, a square taper bottom bracket so this pedal arm is pushed on there with an interference fit and uh, just uh, uh, this bolt's used to tension it in the first place but then it's just sitting there if we take that bolt out the pedals aren't going to come off immediately we need a tool this is the uh, tool as supplied by Park Tools You've got a big nut here, large thread, and that, that screws into the pedal arm itself. You screw that up nice and tight, rotate this, and as you can see that, that, that pushes the plunger out and in theory pushes the pedal arm off the end of the square taper. Um, I've watched loads of YouTube videos where people do this and uh, it all looks nice and easy. I think because either it's a new bike or they've taken it off before. Um, I'll let you into a secret. I've taken that one off before because when you first do this on a bike that hasn't been uh, that hasn't had that removed for three or four years, it's going to be really tight, really tight. Um, you need to put a lot of effort into it. You've got to be careful. All the threads are quite. Um, uh, fragile really um, it's not going to take a lot of hammering and banging so it's all about uh, pressure and uh, a bit of lubrication maybe a bit of grease a bit of WD-40 anyway thing is I have done this one before so it's going to come off quite easily but I'll show you we take the chain off first of all fairly easily I've got the chain fairly slack drop that off and leave it hanging down there. First thing to do is take the cap out, 8mm hex drive. That normally a lot tighter than that as well. Keep it safe, keep it clean. We've got to thread this nut into the end of the pedal arm here. You've got to make sure this is clean. It can get a bit of dirt in there through use. Um, fairly easy, just spray a bit of WD-40 in there, give it a wipe round, make sure there's no dust and grit got in the threads. Screw the tool in. I just push it up finger tight I just make sure it's it's all the way in it's, it's right to the bottom and bottomed out and then you can start to rotate the actual retractor this is the point on an older bike that's where that's been on for four years that it gets this gets really hard and uh, you, you probably won't do it with the bike on the stand you want it on the floor probably with someone holding the bike so you can put lots of pressure on but you can see this is going to come off quite easily. There we go. There we go. Let's remove the tool from this side. And swap the bike round. I'm going to do the non-drive side as well. Okay, it's just the same on the non-drive side, but obviously you haven't got a chain to take off. Again, take the cap nut out. This can be really tight. Sometimes you, you might find uh, just a little hex wrench like that isn't, isn't enough. And uh, you'll want something like an 8mm hex drive on a long bar. Um, just be careful. Uh, don't go bashing it about. Take your time. Just lots of pressure and some lubrication. Okay, 
keep that safe. Again, just to use a bit of WD-40 to clean the threads out. Make sure there's nothing, no dirt or dust sitting in there. And again with the extractor tool. to seat it at the bottom there and start with the extractor. Here we go. Again that was fairly easy because uh, I've taken it off before. You might find yours isn't quite so straightforward. Okay, there we go, that was it. Crank set removed with a part tool extractor.